9 forecast. And we're seeing some hazy breaks of sunshine here at the end of the day. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. There's a live view from the top of Afton Mountain across I-64. Good visibility, some breaks of sunshine after a gray, gloomy first half of the day. More in the way of sunshine has been breaking out to the north and cloudier skies off to the south. And some of those clouds have been trying to produce a few sprinkles, but most, if not all, communities will stay dry here this evening in your Monday first forecast for the overnight will slow drop from the 50s this evening into the upper 40s by tomorrow morning. Less wind, little, little uh, less wind as we go into tomorrow morning. Near calm conditions, really. But then by midday and thereafter, the winds are really going to gust from the west and northwest up to 30, even 40 miles per hour. But at least we'll start to see some more sunshine and daytime highs roughly in the mid to upper 60s. Some of you will be a bit cooler in the Shenandoah Valley, though. Right now, your 4 o'clock numbers are ranging from the upper 50s and the lower 60s from Charlottesville, Palmyra, over into Culpeper and Madison. And we're in the mid to upper 50s from Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro. About 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of the year. So mostly rain-free skies on our live Doppler radar network. Barely a sprinkle towards the Roanoke, New River Valley, into southwest Virginia, down into areas of North Carolina. Carolina, the dry air looks to win out for a while longer. Now the big picture is showing there's some uh, indications of a active storm track developing. There's a the northern branch that's going to team up with the southern jet stream and the stage is set for a big time major winter storm but not for the East Coast. It's well off to our Northwest. And whenever you get a major snowstorm across the Northern Plains states and the Great Lakes region, our region will be on the warm side. So you can see there's a, anywhere from California to New England. Eventually there's going to be more than 2000 miles worth of heavy sleet, snow and freezing rain. So we have the battleground cold north, warm south. That's an active storm track, but we're going to be on the warm side of things for a while longer. In fact, on Thursday, it'll likely be the warmest day since early November of last year. High temperatures well into the 70s, if not the lower 80s over central Virginia. So near record breaking warmth, really southwest winds tomorrow anywhere from 20 to 40 miles per hour. Some part, part parts of the area may be under a wind advisory. Here's a look at your Wednesday. It'll be cooler, perhaps a passing shower in the morning. Nothing major. We're going to be dry on Thursday, Friday, but Saturday will be colder. Look at that little bit of a wintry mix over to a chilly rain shower. So one day is hot. The next day it's downright cold. Once again, your forecast overnight lows in the 40s. We should be in the low 30s for overnight lows this time of the year. Highs tomorrow in the mid to upper 60s east of the Blue Ridge and barely 60 across the valley. That's still milder than average for this time of the year with gusty winds. We'll call it partly sunny skies and your seven day forecast in the 50s and cloudier on Wednesday, perhaps a passing shower in the morning. And there's my pick day of the week 80 on Thursday, at least 80 in Charlottesville, 60 Friday as we cool down and we'll watch Saturday, a light wintry mix to a chilly rain shower. Then we're back into the 50s and dry next Sunday and Monday.